For decades now, an invasive species has taken over much of Maine's coastline, decimating a lot of our native species. They're called green crabs, and while normally a lot of these invasive crabs die every year during the winter, Maine's warming waters are allowing more of them to survive. In our ongoing series about Maine's changing climate, New Center Maine's Jack Mulmid looks at how we can combat the growing problem. We're at the tail end of the molt right now. In the town of Elliot. So this is our molting facility here. Michael Macy and his crew are trying to solve a problem that's most likely never going away. We'll pull them out and show you what we're looking at there. If you don't know what these are, they are mean, green, and an invasive eating machine. We'd always like pull up a bunch of green crabs and I always kind of assume like, oh, these are just the crab that's here, you know, they're native. So it was a bit like a, a shock when I realized that they're invasive species. For decades, the green crab has destroyed eelgrass beds, which harbor baby lobsters. They also eat clams in Maine's estuaries, a big problem that's only getting worse. And so this right here is the product we're looking to, d to get. Macy and his crew's solution is to find someone willing to eat the invasive crab. And we're learning some hard lessons right now. Although, like any new industry, growing pains. We're finding a lot of mortality in our crabs because the water has warmed up in this creek. But slowly, the group gathers up enough crabs. And Mike is okay with the patience that comes with pioneering a new fishery. He's a former teacher at York High School. His crew, Sam, Billy, and Quinton, are actually all former students of his. Mike recruited them for his venture. Yeah, it's a blast, I think. We can kind of try to make a difference, and we're also taking advantage of something that's going to be here kind of inevitably. Raising the crabs to harvest on land and also going out on the water. The biodiversity in here is essentially zero. As they pull in the traps, it's clear to see that this problem comes in numbers. You know, in the York River it would have been a great spot for larval lobsters, smaller lobsters, but with, uh, with this quantity of green crabs, nothing can really compete. And the huge number of green crabs you're seeing this harvest is just the beginning. According to the Friends of Casco Bay, the water here last winter was four degrees warmer than the past seven year average. This means fewer green crabs are dying during our winters. What happens when we actually try to eradicate them? Do we see eelgrass come back? Do we see clams come back? And so I mean, we're trying that here. I don't think there's been any other outfits that have, uh, that have tried to harvest to the degree that we are. As the crew bags the fresh caught crabs to be sold as bait, the crew packs up the soft shell green crabs and takes it to market at restaurants such as Portland's Bao Bao and then to restaurants down in Portsmouth, such as Black Trumpet. The people are learning more about it. That's the beauty of it, that they are delicious, just like the blue crabs that we're all used to, you know? And then on to row 34, and this is where we find Chef Josh Peck. He's pioneering ways to get you and I to eat this invasive problem. You know, there's, there's no lack of sustainability with the green crab. Because with this invasive species... Then when they come out, we'll just hit them with a little bit more salt and pepper. If you can't beat them, well, you get the idea. There you have the green crab slider. But while the market continues to grow for this invasive green crab, it is still growing. And in many ways, so is Michael's business. It's officially move out day. We're going to get all the crabs out of the flow through system that we've been using and we're putting them in the York River. And as the harvest dwindles due to the warm summer, we see the end to the crab's molting season. And they pack up for now, hoping that others will catch on. You know, it's not much, but you know, you got to start somewhere. In Elliott, Jack Mulmud, New Center, Maine.